Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to do it yourself, you adore your own body and accept yourself completely. You'll learn you have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. My God, guys, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials flat, NASDAQ down 44, S&P's off 6, gold up $2.40 trading at $14.90 an ounce. We get silver down six cents, trading at seventeen dollars fifty-three cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up eighty-five cents, fifty-four dollars sixteen cents a barrel. Notes and bonds: a ten-year note right now up six ticks, one twenty-nine twenty-six. Thirty-year up twenty at one sixty oh two. And both notes and bonds, folks, last two days anemic volume. They both both days they got to a lower low, have rejected that low. They're going into their spike low. And I suspect these things are going to take off like a rocket ship going up to their highs. It's very unusual when you see the 10-year folks two days in a row doing less than 1 million contracts, and that's what we have. Dollar. Dollar index up to 244, trading at 97,572. The euro is at 111. The yen is trading at 108.5, and the pound is at 128 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, what you have out here, let's go. I'm going to go look at the futures first because what you had out here is that the, the futures were trying to test out their highs from this morning. And right from the get-go, they had a hard time doing that. Yeah, so at, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, 10, 10 minutes of 10 last night, you had, you had hit 301.414. And we got up to this 30.3014. And then guess what? Just couldn't handle it. Uh, you, you broke the swing. We just broke the swing 20 minutes ago. Uh, the swing we're talking about is, uh, is at the 3,000 mark. We're, we're still trading 3,000. The, the setup here, okay, you get two different setups. The first setup will get you down to uh, 29.94. And we, hit, we just hit 29.97. I suspect before we're over, we're going to be 29.94. Now, if we get some volume at 29.94, that's going to put game on of going all the way back to last Friday, which is the 20. 985. So it's going to be kind of intriguing. The NQs, they, they did test the highs this morning. And uh, bottom line, they were showing right off the bat that they couldn't hold price. So the, so the, the high from last night was at oops, wrong one, NQ, NQ, Z9. Oh, excuse me, folks. NQ, Z9. So the, the NQs, there we go. Okay. There we go. So the high from last night on the NQs had been 79.79. It spiked that high at 20 minutes to 10 this morning. And right off the bat, guess what? Couldn't handle it. Uh, that was a huge heads up because the bottom line is that the NDX 100 can bring things higher very quickly and bring things lower very quickly. And that's exactly how this uh, baby played out inside the marketplace. So we you know we went from that price point of 79.88, and we're just giving up 90 points. We're down 45 right now. You can see that this is going after the lows that were generated at 10 o'clock yesterday morning. Uh, bottom line is that was game down here. Let's see. Well, we almost hit it. We hit 78.92. 78.75 is game. Um, yeah, that's definitely game. The notes and bonds we're talking about, uh, this, is, this is pretty wild. So, you know, what we have out here inside the note and bond market is that the 10-year note right now has done 922,000 contracts. That baby, you know, yesterday you got to a low, a low, we did 927,000 contracts. You're coming into the downdraft from the 13th of September where we had 2.4 million. It keeps rejecting lower price. This is, this is telling me, man, this thing wants to go high in a heartbeat. So we'll see how this baby's going to shake out. But uh, the 30 year is the same setup. And the 30 year looks like it's going to be the first one that you're going to get a total rejection of. And a total rejection would be a close of 160.07. And the 160.07 is coming into the same time frame. 
Uh, the 30 years done 204,000 contracts. Bottom line, you're coming into uh, 552,000 contracts. It's a monster number, folks. It's just a huge number. Oil, let's go take a look at the oil market out here. What we have with the oil market right now, oil is trading up 58 cents, 85 cents actually. We're at $54.16. We'll get those API numbers out at 4.30 this afternoon. Um, you get sideways movement. It's laying near the bottom. Uh, you get light volume out here, real light volume, actually, uh, 23,000 contracts. And let me just make sure, a CLX, that this is the active contract. I believe it's still the active contract. It is. That's still the active contract. So oil has nowhere to go but to downtown, folks. That's how that baby is shaking out. Some of the higher volume equities, and I, in fact, see, if you look inside the NDX, this is going to be really interesting because even though the NDX is the weakest indice here, you're going to see uh, just how this thing is set up, and it's pretty intense, actually. So Biogen, folks, is up 28%. That's up $63. You got Pace Car up 3.8%. Uh, Vertex Pharmaceuticals is up 3 and you get uh, Kraft Heinz up 2.7. That being said, the... Equities that are down inside the NDX, okay, are overwhelming them in a huge way. You get Hasbro down 16.5%, Liberty's down 6%, you got Cadence Design down 5%. Now, if I put and I take all the NASDAQ stocks up and we take a look at where they're shaking out, you're going to see that, uh, yeah, so the, the ones that are down, you get Intuitive Surgical, uh, that's down 25. You got CMG down 25. Hasbro's down 19. Amazon's down 19. Travels is down 11. MasterCard's down 11. You get some monster numbers out here uh, on the way down, folks. Okay, that is taking that baby south. If we take a look at this on the daily as well as the, well, you don't have to need the weekly right now. What you're going to see inside the daily is that, and this is hard to do, you basically got over the highs of the last two days. It couldn't get to the high of last Thursday, and you're giving it up in spades. So what you're going to have here is this. You're going to have a, an equity market that tried to get up to its high, couldn't handle price, sold off, light of volume. What does that set up? That sets up lower prices coming at us. And we have, we know we have between NASDAQ and the Dow, and the S&P rather, a slew of earnings coming out the next couple days. So these earnings are going to push this market all over the place. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.